Welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain Earthworks training videos. This is just a quick tip for you excavator guys out there that may be struggling when you're working in certain models that have a lot of angle, like this one right here. You're trying to grade out a small, tiny little area where the model is pitching to one side and to the other. You can change your views right here, but you'll notice this dotted line coming down. There's a couple options I wanted to show you if you haven't actually used this before. If you're trying to view in 3D, you're trying to kind of see the different angles when you actually hit the V-ditch, whatever it may be. You can change these views on the left side to where you can have three different views. So you got your pro profile view, your cross-section view, 3D view. If you go into this stack of papers at the top right here, it's, I call it a stack of papers, but if you touch and hold on that, it's the overlays. There's a couple things you can turn on in here. So there's one in here that's called attachment floor. And every time you turn on and off something in here, you'll see what it does on the left side right here. You can turn that on. You can turn on design line preview. And you can go out and actually get some different options that show up on your screen right here. So as you move the machine left and right, you can see the design preview based on where your red carrot is and your green controlling line are. They kind of help you as you move across the model right here. So if you do touch and hold on your bucket over here and change the vertical focus point to link to focus, this one's actually going to help you out a little bit with understanding that as if I put it on the left side or the right side, it'll help you understand where the design line preview is going to be based on your cut fill. The other thing you can do for the 3D view here is if you're zoomed in and you're trying to kind of watch in this angle, but the machine is actually in the way, you can go back up to that overlays option and there's an option right here where you can turn the machine off. So you can see on the left side right here, you're literally just going to have a bucket floating in the air. But now if you're in the machine, and you're trying to roll behind it. You don't have the machine actually in your way as you're trying to view what you're grading right here. But between turning off the view of the machine and changing this on the left side right here to where you can actually see the design line preview, for the flat part of your bucket and where it's actually going to land may be very helpful for some of these chopped up models that are kind of hard for you. It's also helpful to turn that on and have this view right here on the top left. If you're actually facing the, the slope right there and you're pulling down the slope and pulling back up, just to make sure that you're 100% square with it. Because if I actually move to the left and to the right a little bit, see how it kind of shows when the actual model in front of me because the one on the bottom right here is a little bit deceiving to actually see when you're perfectly square with your bucket. But this one right here, as you move the machine left and right against it, it helps you square up with an actual slope or anything model-wise to grade based on those views that you see right there. So just a quick tip for your excavator guys on understanding your views and what options you have to turn on to see your bucket or where the attachment lands on the model. Thanks for watching this video from Sectech Intermountain Earthworks training videos.